हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू वेलकम बैक टू गोखले एजुकेशन सोसाइटीज ई लर्निंग प्रोग्राम 2020 माय सेल्फ मिस्टर प्रकाश डी चौहान फ्रॉम गोखले एजुकेशन सोसाइटीज एच एल हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज इंग्लिश मीडियम ओझर टाउनशिप फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द डिजिटल क्लास दैट इज ई लर्निंग क्लास ऑफ जोग्राफी स्टैंडर्ड नाइन्थ इंग्लिश मीडियम इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द एंडोजेनेटिक मूवमेंट्स इन दिस ई लर्निंग क्लास नाउ वी विल लर्न द थर्ड चैप्टर ऑफ जोग्राफी दैट इज एक्सोजेनेटिक प्रोसेसेस पार्ट वन सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स लर्न द लेसन एक्सोजेनेटिक प्रोसेसेस पार्ट वन फ्रेंड्स मेनी लैंड फॉर्म्स आर फॉर्म ड्यू टू द इंटरनल मूवमेंट्स ऑफ द अर्थ वी नो दैट देर आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ मूवमेंट्स ऑलवेज गोइंग ऑन इन द इंटरनल पार्ट ऑफ द अर्थ मेनी प्रोसेसेस ऑकरिंग ऑन द अर्थ सरफेस अल्सो लीड टू द फॉर्मेशन और डिग्रेडेशन ऑफ द लैंड फॉर्म्स कंटिन्यूसली नाउ इन दिस लेसन एक्सोजेनेटिक प्रोसेसेस पार्ट वन वी विल स्टडी द एक्सोजेनेटिक मीन्स एक्सटर्नल प्रोसेसेस एंड द लैंड फॉर्म्स फॉर्म बाय दैट प्रोसेसेस एक्सटर्नल और एक्सोजेनेटिक प्रोसेसेस ऑकर बिकॉज ऑफ द फोर्सेस वर्किंग ऑन द अर्थ सर्फेस एज यूनो फ्रेंड्स द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ फोर्सेस दैट इज नैचुरल फोर्सेस always affects on the surface of the earth these forces mainly are solar energy and gravitational force along with kinetic energy associated with the moving objects on the earth's surface student friends landforms formed on the earth's surface as a result of internal movements in the last chapter of geography we have learned about the endogenetic movements and in that movements we have seen how the block mountains fold mountains rift valleys are formed due to the internal movements of the earth and this internal movement of the earth is also known as primary and secondary landforms these primary and secondary landforms are continents mountains plateaus and plains all these are known as the primary and secondary landforms because of the external processes like weathering erosion transportation and deposition the primary and the secondary landforms give way to the tertiary landforms tertiary means third F apart from primary and secondary the third landform is created due to the internal movements of the earth and that is known as tertiary landforms for example valleys sand dunes delta u shaped valleys all these things also you have learned in the standard 8th 9th and tenth lessons dear friends let's see the given picture observe the physical appearance of the rocks in the each picture you can see that in the first figure 3.1 a the rocks are broken fractured and have the holes in them in a picture also you can see that the statue has been deformed in the figure 3.1 c why are the rocks in such a condition just think about them and briefly tell the reason you can think of discuss the reason of fracturing of the rocks check with the teachers if your reasons are relevant you can just think 
the problem of fracturing of the rock in the figure 3.1b that is the middle figure you can see the block disintegration means all these things continuously happens you know that the power of natural forces sunlight wind and rainfall all these things affect continuously on the different parts of the rock and other parts of the rock also or the earth now friends let's learn about the weathering and its types breaking or weakening of the rocks is a natural phenomenon it is called as a weathering friends as you know that due to the work of the natural forces the part of the rock become weak or it may break down and this type of natural thing means breaking or weakening of the rock is a natural thing and this thing is called as a weathering there are the different types of weathering is there mechanical is also known as physical weathering second type of weathering is chemical weathering and the third type of weathering is biological weathering in arid climates mechanical weathering is a dominant whereas in the humid climates chemical weathering is more effective and biological weathering the third type of weathering occurs because of the work of living organism that is like trees or different type of small animals or creatures due to them biological weathering takes place so friends now we will learn in detail about mechanical weathering friends in order to know in detail about mechanical weathering you can try this activity at home for this simple activity just take an onion cut it in the middle observe the cut parts of the onion you will notice that just as we can remove each and every outer layer of the onion similarly in nature rocks undergo such a process the exposed part of the rock heats more while the inner part is comparatively cooler as a result the outer layers of the rocks fall apart from the main rock and this type of weathering is called as exfoliation of the rock friends mechanical weathering mainly occurs because of the following reasons temperature frost crystal growth release of pressure and water these are the things due to which mechanical weathering mainly occurs let's see in detail about them one by one first temperature the minerals in the rocks expand because of the heat and contract when the temperature decreases due to such continuous contracting and expanding due to the temperature the tension develops in the rock particles each mineral reacts differently to the temperature so some minerals expand more whereas the other minerals do not expand as much but consequently the tension formed in the rocks also increases and decreases due to the temperature means the contraction and expansion this process continuously goes on as a result the crack develops in the rocks and they break down in the areas where the diurnal range of temperature is higher like the indian parts and other parts where the temperature is high 
weathering of this type is common in such type of areas and hot desert areas where the temperature relevantly is more compared to the other parts in such areas where the temperature during the year is much more then the contraction and expansion such type of process on the rock continuously goes on and due to that the tension develops in the crack of the rocks and this tension creates the expansion of the rocks second reason of mechanical weathering is frost you know that the volume of the water increases when it freezes means when the water freezes means it becomes ice that time the size of the water increases that is called as volume in areas where the temperatures drop below the 0 degree celsius for quite some time the water accumulated in the cracks and crevices in the rocks freezes its volume also increases when it becomes ice this leads to the tension in the rocks and they shatter down you can see in the figure also such type of thing happens on the rock means what happens during the night time when the temperature drops below the 0 degree celsius that time the water in the crack of the rock freezes and the size that is volume of the water increases means the expansion process takes place there and during the daytime it melts into water that time it contraction happens means due to that means becoming ice and water contraction and expansion happens and due to that the crack in the rock takes place and the weathering takes place due to such type of contraction and expansion due to the frost the next reason of mechanical weathering is crystal growth in the rocky coast waves hit the sea cliff the water is alkaline of the sea some water droplets hit the cracks in the rocks in this alkaline water the soluble materials in the rock get dissolved because the water of the sea is salty that is called as alkaline this leads to the formation of a small small holes in the rocks you can see on the coast of the sea also this is the effect of solution alkaline water gets stored in these small holes on the coast because of heat this water turns into water vapor and only crystal of alkaline materials remain in the rocks crystal occupy more space this causes the tension in the rock and holes are formed in the rocks and it looks like a honeycomb you can see in the figure also 3.3 and such type of crystals or such type of holes also we can see on the sea coast of uh, in the konkan region at the beach of hariharishwar if you will visit the beach hariharishwar you can see there on the sea coast there are the alkaline crystallization on the rocks takes place and the rocks looks like a honeycomb because of the crystal growth release of pressure is the next reason of mechanical weathering what happens here it is not that tension is created in the rocks only because of temperature or freezing of water or crystallization the outer layers of the rocks exert pressure on the inner or lower layers and when this pressure ceases or stops to exist the lower or inner layers get freed from the pressure and this also leads to the 
weathering because of releasing the pressure on the rock and the last reason of mechanical weathering is water some areas experience more rainfall than the others in such areas soaking of rock water also causes weathering of some rocks like sandstone or conglomerate these rocks are formed because of pressure on the agglomeration of sand particles mud also makes sand particles come together when water penetrates such rocks the particles get loose and separate from the main rock this type of weathering is called as granular weathering you can see it in the picture also now friends let's learn about block disintegration sometimes both temperature and water are responsible for weathering difference in temperature cause contraction and expansion widening the joints or the cracks in the rocks water accumulates in such wide joints and big blocks of rocks separate from each other due to the temperature and water such type of weathering is called as block disintegration this type of weathering that is block disintegration is also shown in the textbook figure 3.1b you can see how the block disintegration takes place and this is the type of mechanical weathering you can see in the given figure 3.1b of your textbook okay thank you friends for your patient listening of the lesson please study the lesson again read the lesson again and again we will meet next time in the part 2 of the same lesson in the next video thank you